Geography Grade 9 Unit 4 Question number 1 The graphic representation of the age distribution by sex of a given population is A. Age category B. Bar graph C. Population pyramid D. Bar chart Students, I give you 5 seconds Good Population pyramid is the graphic representation indicates the distribution of population by age and the sex. Question number two. Which of the following is not included to the language of Nilo-Saharan superfamily? A. Kunama B. Ben C. Mao D. Wolaitato Students, Kunama, Beige and Mao are categorized to the Nilo-Saharan Super family language, but Wolaita is homotic, so the answer is D. Question number three of the following, which one is odd? Add the kante kami, yetala yo yetuno. A. Kushitic, B. Semitic, C. Homotic, D. Nilo Sahara. Students, Kushitic, Semitic, and Homotic are the super families of languages that categorize the two Afro Asiatic, but Nilo Sahara is becomes different. So D. Question number four. Of the following, which one is the consequence of rapid population growth? A. Sewage pollution. B. Pollutant gases increasing. C. Agricultural pollutants. D. Improving the life of population. Here, sewage pollution, pollutant gases increasing, and agricultural pollutants are the consequences of the rapid population growth. But improving the life of population is not. Question number five. Which of the following is not the direct consequence of deforestation? A. Accelerates soil erosion. B. Destroys biodiversity. C. Affects rainfall by decreasing evapotranspiration. D. Sinking of carbon. Sinking of carbon is the consequence of afforestation and reforestation, as well as giving values for keeping the environment. But the others are the consequence of deforestation. So, D is the answer. Question number six. Which of the following is not the major criteria used in Ethiopian urbanization? A. There should be a minimum settlement of 2,000 people. B. Two thirds of the population are engaged in agricultural activities. C. The settlement has a chartered municipality. D. A presence of social services and amenities. So the answer is B. Question number 7. Which of the following is not categorized into the major factors affecting population distribution? A. Types of economic activity. B. Altitude. C. Soil fertility. D. Latitude. Types of economic activity, altitude, and the soil fertilities are the major factors that are affecting the distribution of population. But latitude is not. So the answer is D. Question number 8. Of the following, one is the major factors strongly affecting the distribution of population. Which one is it? A. Vegetation coverage. B. Severity of tropical diseases. C. Altitude. D. Climate conditions. Students, if it asks us, of the following are the factors affecting the distribution of population on vegetation coverage, altitude, climate condition are the major factors affecting the population distributions. Okay, so but now it says the major factor here, the major factor is strongly it says the major factor which is strongly affecting the distribution of population is altitude. Why? One, as altitude increases the density of vegetation becomes increases the rainfall increases as altitude decreases the density of vegetation are becomes decreases so altitude also affects the vegetation coverage as altitude increases severity of tropical diseases becomes decreases as altitude decreases the severity of tropical diseases also increases as altitude increases climate becomes cooler and as the altitude decreases the climate is becomes warmer as a result altitude is the major factor that affecting vegetation coverage severity of tropical diseases 
and climate conditions. So D is the major factor. Question number nine. Which of the following is true about population density? A. A crop production areas are densely populated than in set areas. B. Pastoral farming areas are more densely populated than cereal areas. C. Inset production areas are more densely populated than cereal areas. D. Pastoral farming areas are densely populated than inset farming areas. So the correct one is inset production areas are more densely populated than cereal productions. C is the correct answer. Question number 10. In a hypothetical area of B, there were 1,014,000 population residing themselves on 32,500 square kilometers. What will be the crude density of an area? A. 23 per kilometer square. B. 3.2 per kilometer square. C. 32 per kilometer square. D. 2.3 per kilometer square. But the population density of the Hanga Umata, Er Hanga Balna Lafa Yojen, Devi Kenyargan. So population density is equal to total population over total area. One million fourteen thousand over thirty two thousand five hundred, which comes thirty two kilometers square. So the answer is C. Question number eleven. A man to land ratio is A. Agricultural density, B. Population density, C. Physiographical density, D. Man to farmland ratio. A man to land ratio is population density. Question number 12. Of the following, which one indicates urban settlement? A. Conurbation, B. Village, C. Hamlet, D. Isolated home. Conurbation is not, I mean, conurbation indicates the urban, but village, hamlet, and isolated are indicating rural areas. So the answer is A. Question number 13. In Ethiopia, when is a given settlement considered as an urban settlement? A. Adam. A. When houses are made up of a simple constructional materials. B. When the residents depend on different economic activities. C. When population size exceeds 2,000 people. D. When the inhabitants are primarily engaged in agriculture. So, the correct answer is C. When the population size exceeds 2,000 people in Ethiopia, a given Settlement is considered as urban settlement. Question number 40. In which parts of Ethiopia do you mostly observe a permanent rural settlement? A. In the pastoral areas. B. Along the major river valleys. C. In the rift valleys. D. In the crop farming areas. In crop farming areas of highland parts of Ethiopia, there is a permanent settlement. D is correct. Question number 15. Which of the following is not the major factor for the formation of soil? A. Parent materials. B. Climatic conditions. C. Vegetation. D. Latitudes. Parent materials, climate conditions, and the vegetation are the major factors for the formation of soils, but latitude is not. Question number 60. To which of the following developmental project is the cataracts and rapid falls of rivers in Ethiopia are important? A. Fish production. B. Transportation. C. Irrigational activities. D. Generating hydroelectricity power. So, generating hydroelectric power is the major advantage of the Ethiopian cataracts and rapid falls of Ethiopian rivers. Question number 17. The least type of soil which is very important for coffee and insect production is A. Nitosols. B. Vertisols. C. Acrisols. D. Yermosols. Nitosol is the leached soil which is found in Ethiopia in southwestern highland parts of Ethiopia where the rainfall is highly there throughout the year. Question number 18. Which of the following is the most determinant factor affecting the distribution of vegetation in Ethiopia? A. Temperature. B. Latitude. C. Altitude. D. Climate. Which of the following is the most determinant factor affecting the distribution of Ethiopian vegetation? So, altitude is the major determinant factor because as the altitude increases, temperature becomes increases, rainfall increases, density of vegetation is also increases. Okay? 
as altitude increases, climate becomes cooler, rainfall is also increases. Garu, the most determinant factor in Janet, eh? Temperature in Sinta, climate in Sinta, altitude in Sinta to Asia. Amagaru, the most determinant factor in Janet, one to gather it off. Hundumarajala, altitude to Iba Kabafa Fachin Sabikinota Ratija. Question number 19. Of the following, one is not metallic minerals. Which one is it? A. Potash. B. Gold. C. Tantalum. D. Platinum. Potash is non metallic mineral. Here, metallic minerals are gold, tantalum, platinum, iron, and the like. Whereas, the non metallic minerals are potash, sodash, silica, limestones, and so on. So the answer is A. Question number 20. Sheep and a goat feeds on grasslands. I pardon once. Question number 20. Sheep and the goat feeds on grasses. Lions and the jackals feeds on sheep and the goat. What is the what is the role of sheep and the goat in ecosystem? A producers, B carnivores, C herbivores, D omnivores. Sheep and the goats are herbivores. Jackals and the leopards are carnivores. Question number 21. Of the following, which area of Ethiopia are classified with high rainfall variability? A. Asaita and the Gore. B. Kabridar and the Bonga. C. Asaita and the Gode. D. Jimma and the Mizan. Asaita and the Gode are lowland areas which are categorized to eastern parts of Ethiopian lowlands. They are known with having a lower amount of precipitation or rainfall. So, the answer is C. 